one of the issues we also had was uh, struggling AP scores. Our, our passing rates weren't where we wanted them to be. We had a real great core of students and teachers. So um, the first, one of the first steps was to form a PLC with our, um, our advanced placement teachers. Um, and we started to meet monthly, talked about why our scores were down, started to look at some data, looked at past passing rates. In addition to that, though, we formed a PLC comprised of AP students. And we allowed those students to have some voice with regard to how they felt um, things were going in class, talking about the teachers that expected the most of them and the teachers that expected the least of them. Um, based on that data, uh, we looked at both the test scores and the student input, um, and we made some dis decisions with regard to personnel, and we actually changed some, uh, some teacher schedules, took some teachers out of AP classes um, and replaced them with teachers we thought um, would have a better opportunity uh, to help our students succeed. Um, the results have been very good. That happened about nine months ago. We have last year's results. Our AP passing rates went up across the board about 17% at our school. So um, as we look at the passing scores this year, we'll have two years of uh, data to compare, but uh, we're very excited about the results at this point.